Hey guys, what's up? Supercrossed here, and this is part 2 of how to set up a Minecraft server. So in part 1, I showed you how to set up all of this stuff, how to set up the, um, just everything, and how to port forward, set it up, and in part 2, I'm going to be showing you how to get Bucket and use it. Bucket is a mod, yeah, a mod, as you say, that adds plugins to your server. Now, if you've seen other servers, they have plugins and stuff that can do many things. One of them is called Lock It, and that locks your chests and stuff so that only you can open them. And yeah, let's just jump right in. So, you are going to want to get this craft bucket, and you get that from this website, not that, not YouTube. From this website right here, I'll put this link in the description, so yeah. So, you, you want to open up the server items wherever you have them take this and drag it in and you want to rename it just craft bucket and okay so now you want to make a new text document called ram a bucket or whatever you want to do it copy in this code as we did in the previous one but instead of minecraft server.exe you want to name it that um craft bucket dot jar and save it as ram bucket dot bat and remember to save it as all files save it exit and you should have this ram bucket dot bat if you open it it should open this and if you notice these text things are different than in the other one because this is a bucket so just wait for this to load it's gonna make a new map for the nether the end and a plugins folder so I'll be right back when that finishes okay guys so it is done and if you noticed it says the time 3.9 seconds and it does not show the big white thing as before it just opens up command prompt and here's gonna do the same thing putting commands like say hi and yeah so that's pretty much it it's not very hard um permissions that's permissions um i'll get into that in the next episode and now you have this this is the nether the end and plugins so let's download a plugin so just go to this website bucket.org I'll put that in there too and yeah so let's just get a plugin a very simple one and just it doesn't matter I'll pick one out and I'll be right back okay guys I'm back and th I found this plugin it is called essentials and it is essential and this is just about five plugins in one it's like Permissions that give you permissions to what other players can do and not do um, Spawns just everything so just download it from here Save it and when it's done Just open the jar copy these Into This the plugins thing that created so now that we have that close that open ram bucket or whatever you named it and it is going to load those um plugins that we just put in and the first time that you put in a plugin it's going to take a bit longer to load because it has to set it up and do all of that crazy stuff and yeah but let's just wait for a few seconds and see if it works Oh, and what you are going to want to do is go to this ops.txt, and these are the admins. So I'll just add my nickname. Okay, so it's done. Now let's just open up Minecraft. And yeah, this is the SOPA act that Notch is against. but minecraft does work um go to multiplayer and this is the server that we made 
and as you can see it says outdated server so that is because that craft bucket is not made for minecraft 1.1 you want minecraft 1.0 and since it is not updated for 1.1 i cannot show you what it is going to be like but if you want you can look up other videos on youtube and when craft bucket comes out for minecraft 1.0 i'm gonna make a video about it and yeah, so thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.